Never let your problems get you down. Got to stay focused and hold your ground. Though it seems hopeless, there is no progress. We still are hustle around town. We do what we do just to survive. We sell what we sell, so we have it. We tired of it. And we fed up from about 90. So tell them, say any time. Big up riding the price, you know. Anyway, morning thoughts, morning thoughts, morning thoughts. This is what we're for color one here now. Reporting live from Green, Li Green Island High School Part 2. <laughs> oh gosh. Hey man, why is it every time, every time you see these ratchet videos with black people attacking each other, you always, we always sound like a bunch of banshees. Like, ah, 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 hit him, fuck him up, kill him, kill him, hit him, punch him, John, shit him, flip him on his neck, kill him, bust up his head, mash him up. Ah, 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 ah. It's sad as hell. Now, I said part two because this is a follow up, right? So apparently, it has been let out now to the media that they have one child in custody, or one of these students, the young man in custody that was involved in attacking this bus driver right the bus driver man go look at the loop the video if you never see part one of this video you don't know what i'm talking about then box up the man with one chopper a meat cleaver and cough him up cough him up in him head big grown man ran to his bus and them shell him down anyway ran after him beat him up more and bust up the bus with stone and these things anyway let me ask y'all something or let me say something i see females right Especially the younger generation, I know I'm a big woman, do it to big, big woman. Look like you're old enough to be somebody's grandmother. Anytime you're with a man that allows you to fight in public, fist to cuff fight, roll upon the ground fight, your skirt gone over your head, panty out a door, someone will come out with no panty, whole pum pum out a door, I catch breeze. At any time you are around a man or males that allow you to do this and don't go through all lengths to make sure that you stop, don't get into that type of altercation, right? Then you are with the wrong type of men. We have some workless man out there, you know, that actually encourage these girls, beat her ass, Jane, beat her ass, Simone. And, and, and then Simone get dropped on her head and knock out in the middle of the road let them spread wide open like she ready for you know what and nobody there to defend her not even the guys who saying be the ass Simone. same thing happened in this fight what was funny to me is the girls were mu as much a part of this as everybody else you stay there and I saw my grandmother used to say, my grandma used to say, friends, they encourage you and bring you to places where you're not supposed to go, but they're not there to bring you back, right? And left you in some desolate place in desperation. Now, could you imagine how much different this would have been? Credit to the parent who brought her child in. She apparently see the video and see one our, see our, see our son in it, and she's like, nope, come. Grab him, carry him, go down to a police station. The news report is that the police is still looking for the other, the others. I don't know how it's so hard. Are have they gone on the run? Is it so hard to find the others? They all go to the same school. If you take the video to the school and ask the principal or ask, line up all of the teacher them and ask them, do you recognize any of these students in a one room on one big screen? I bet the majority of the teachers can point out that's my student. Uh, Richard James from second period something something math class whatever and round them up it's not hard so why are, why are we searching for them them uh, they're on the run me don't know anyway these kids nowadays will never stop using social media to tell on themselves you're so unwise the same girls that encouraged you to fight right encouraged you and cheered you on jeered you on with a bunch with a bunch of uh, um hooligan noises with a bunch of primate noises primitive noises <laughs> like banshees and shit are the same ones that were recording you instead i tell you said don't do it think about your future because sometimes you just need somebody there at that last minute when you're about to risk it all 
to just interject one ounce of sense. Yo, my youth. Remember your picnic them, you know? I just say, all right, dog. Yo, my youth. Or yo, my girl. Remember your future, you know? If you do that, a prison you go. That one last second when you're about to lose it, they put some sense in you. Those are the kind of people you need around you. But no, you don't, these, these girls encourage the guys all the way in, right? No, them look like wanted men. On the run. Can't be found. Being hunted down. By law enforcement. Already. And a school year, you know. Right? Did you notice how they weren't able to tell you to stop or try to even tell you to stop? But they were quick to post that video on social media, which is the same video which will be used as evidence in a court of law to show jury, judge, whoever sees it, law enforcement, who was involved and what exactly you did to the person. Mainly to identify everyone that was involved. So, the same people them who, did tell, who didn't take the time to tell you, hey man, stay out of trouble, are the same ones that turn you in as soon as you get in trouble, without even knowing it, because them love likes. I'm going to post this on social media for likes, that one year ago go viral. They never said Kendrick and Kenroy and Steve and Marcos, them are going to go to jail, or they're going to get charges pressed against them for whatever they did to that bus driver. All the one with the meat cleaver him. But there you have it. So it was just a follow-up, right? It's Saturday morning. I'm out here on the road traveling. As you can see in the background, this ain't my place of employment. So I got some things to do, some business to take care of. Check me out. There will be some changes to the channel. Just go and grow with me and work with me. I love my audience so much, man. And I thank you all for always tuning in. There will be some changes because... Instead of always reporting like Jamaican stuff, Jamaican stuff, Jamaican stuff, I'm going to try to broaden. And I think some of y'all have seen it already, where I did the whole Troy Ave thing, and then I did the Justin um, Timberlake at the Super Bowl thing. Those things don't get much views on my channel, but because I live in the United States most of the year, and I work here, right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to broaden my channel by doing stories on all the things that I actually pay attention to because that's what I made this channel for it's for me to be true to myself and give my views on things that interest me that's what it is and apparently a lot of people are more interested in what I am as well so there you have it so if anything I go on with rap hip-hop entertainment that type of stuff news in america as well as other places in the world you'll be finding it here from now on as well right soon as i figure out how to get this patreon thing out the patreon is already set up and soon as i figure out how to actually get the video from where i've already made the first video for patreon it's basically an introduction video but you know you don't want to miss it because it has some very not only funny but raw uncut when we say raw we mean raw because we can't be raw and extremely real on youtube we got to keep it a certain way upon youtube for those of us who know that this is a business and run it as such right so Patreon is where it's going to get raw. It's an adult Patreon, so it's going to be raw. Anybody will come over there because them PF will be over there, so you'll come for here. You'll see. So give me a few on that, and that will be up soon as well, all right? When I big up on yourself, man, I'm more progress, I'm more productivity. We say, stay tuned to the channel. Make sure you check out that video I just put up this morning about NIDS getting 20, how much millions of dollars from the U.S., to go forward with the new ID system in Jamaica. Listen carefully to what I said in that video as well. All right? Progress, productivity, we said today. Up and out. I saw Flow TV. You don't know we do it already. One love and bless up here. Keep it positive. I'm out. Peace.